Wow your math teacher. Be ready for this classic trick question that teachers like to ask about prime and composite numbers. After you have done some practice on prime and composite numbers, your teacher might ask the class this question to see if you really understand what you're doing. It will be asked in such a way that everybody has to answer at the same time. So make sure you're ready. Here's the question. Is 1 a prime number or a composite number? What do you think? Remember, a prime number has only two factors, itself and 1. If a number is not prime, then it's composite, right? That's how your teacher can catch people out. If you already worked it out, keep quiet a moment. If you haven't worked it out yet, check out this thinking. Ask yourself, what numbers can be multiplied together to give me 1? The only way of multiplying to get the answer 1 is 1 times 1. Here are the factors. Does that make 1 a prime number? No, it doesn't. Remember, a prime number has exactly two factors, 1 and the number itself. That means 1 and a different number. How many factors do we have in this equation? We have 1. A single factor, the number itself. So 1 cannot be a prime number. OK, well, if 1 is not prime, it must be composite, right? Wrong! Composite numbers must have more than two different factors. 1 is not a composite number either, because the number 1 has only one factor, 1 itself. So if your teacher asks you, is 1 a prime number or a composite number, you know it's a trick question. 1 is neither prime nor composite. And now you can explain exactly why. Have fun with prime and composite numbers.